I came across this Reddit post earlier today and I thought I'd give it a read just to see what it says. The Imaginarium Theater is just plain bad. You don't even get to actually fully play it due to the massive unnecessary restriction of needing like 11 characters at level 70 minimum, further limited to just three elements. I think it's a good idea because I feel like it is forcing players to come up with teams that they don't particularly use very often, right? Like everybody's all about meta. This breaks the meta. This completely changes things up and forces players to use characters that they wouldn't primarily use on a team. And I think it's a great idea. You could find some strong teams just by in this mode. Oh, I never thought about using this character on a team and it could be beneficial. An average player won't ever get to that. And even after two years, even on my one and a half years account that I played a good chunk on, I couldn't even play normal mode without specifically grinding to level more of my characters. That is what Genshin is forcing you to do. A lot of people, including myself, I am guilty of this as well i have a tendency to be hyper focused on characters and tend to build my characters vertically this is forcing players to build horizontally leveling your characters out building characters so they're basically kind of average if you have 11 average characters that are a level 70 minimum and they're hitting average you can get through Imaginarium theater. It's forcing you to spread yourself out so that way you're not just so hyper focused on one or two characters at a time, especially if you have a ton of characters. From the few bits I did play, it is simply not anything actually new. You get some limitations and special effects or specific effects and then battle. That's the entire gameplay. I have seen timed events in Genshin that offer more content than this. To consider this an entire new branch of important in-game is just a joke. I disagree with that just simply because I found myself using my brain a little bit more, like trying to figure out who I can use where to help me get through each act in the mode. It's not just automatic to me, like, oh, I know who I'm gonna put on my team and just go click, 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 click. And I really like that aspect of it. The entire mode simply does not even work with the philosophy of Genshin. That being that one skill more so comes into how you can construct good teams or manage resources basically the strategy before fighting okay having a mode that specifically just focuses on the fighting part itself and mostly neglects the strategy part barely has any substance i feel like this is more strategy than anything i feel like this is making me try to put pieces together that i normally don't use this is more strategy based than you know spiral abyss because if you have op two teams who are completely op it doesn't matter what goes on in spiral abyss you could just 36 star 12 floor it all day long this is making you kind of think about who to use where and when Does that makes sense because if you use your op characters right out the gates Towards the end, you're not gonna have your OP characters because you used up all of their vigor. It's making players think a little bit more about which characters to use when in each act and working them into a puzzle. It's almost like a puzzle that you're having to like manage. The mode would be decent if Genshin had more combat focused elements, but it doesn't. At the end, it's doing nothing but force players to pull for new characters. The new mode just made F2P worse. Now, I kind of see where they're going with that because I kind of said it earlier when I was playing it. I said it feels like it's going to force new players to pull for characters, right? Like, oh, I need to, you know, finish hard mode in Imaginarium Theater, so I got to get these characters that I don't have. The thing about that is it is locked until AR35. Once you get to AR35, if you don't have you know, a nice, decent built team of characters, that's on you. I have been playing now for less than a year. I might have spent maybe 200, $250 of my own money in Genshin Impact for characters. And I have so many characters that are not built. I have like three quarters of the characters that are in the game right now. It's ridiculous. I understand where they are coming from, where it says, you know, new players are gonna have to be pulling for characters, but they give you some free characters that you can work with. A lot of the four stars are just as good as long as you build them correctly, you can use them and you could be done with Imaginarium Theater. You don't need like an OP crazy 
build just to get through it. And that's another thing. You got to remember that this is a gotcha game. They're looking to make money. Everything is about making money to Hoyoverse, right? If they are putting a mode in that you feel is forcing you to pull, that's what they want you to do. They want you to pull. They're a business. They're in the business of making money. Furthermore, the existence of RNG makes this mode as hard in-game content equally, just not that great for obvious reasons. I disagree. I like the rogue style type thing where you kind of get to pick what you want. It's, it's very similar to like simulating a universe in Honkai Star Rail. What we end up with is practically just a new slightly tweaked abyss. I disagree. With more RNG and limiting you to specific and tons of characters, you are now forced to pull. You don't actually have to pull for those characters because they give you trial characters that you can use in Imaginarium Theater. And they have the actual artifacts that they're actually built. The trial characters, if you look at the specifics of each trial character, the trial characters are actually built with their artifact sets on them. Not your character, the trials that they give you, they are actually built really well for this mode. And I think that is awesome. This isn't difficult, it's bad game design, I disagree, or more specifically, anti-player game design. I completely disagree. You don't wanna use your brain? That's fine, don't play it then. Spiral Abyss, you don't really have to use your brain if you have OP teams. If you have two overpowered teams in Spiral Abyss, you can breeze right through that. This is making players use characters in teams that they typically don't use before. And I love that about that. I think that Imaginarium Theater needs a little bit of tweaking. It is definitely not bad. I think it's new and fresh. I love the lore behind it and the aspect of strategy. Putting the pieces of a puzzle together to get through the mode. That's what it is. I like it. There was a comment I saw down here. I just want to see what they said. Players since day zero here. My problems with imaginary theater are number one, lots of complex rules. I had to go watch some YouTubers explain it thoroughly. The moment I had to do that, the game failed. Look, read man, read. Play it over and over and over again until you get it. It's not going to come immediately. Make sure you're reading the rules. Read the rules. It's not hard. You can't just say start and just go and just think you know what you're doing. It's not how it works. Extremely RNG. Disagree. It's rogue. It's supposed to be roguelike. It doesn't feel hard. It just feels random. One run, I get through the stages like a breeze. Another run, I can barely get by due to horrible team composition. What am I going to do with seven electro characters to choose from? Build other characters. That's all I can tell you. Use the trial characters. Come up with teams that you've never used before. Get good. Get good. That's all I can say. Useless boons. Every time you heal, damage gets boost for X seconds. Oh yeah, that would be cool if I had a healer. That's why I use your friend's characters. That's why it lets you choose a support from one of your friends. So if somebody has like a level 90 C6 Baiju, use it. Use your friends. Your friends are uploading their characters so you can use them, right? Like why, why not? Why not do that? Electro Pyro and Animo barely have any healers. Combined with the Vigor and randomized characters mechanic, healing because becomes basically non-existent. That is not true. Okay, I guess it's part of the challenge, but don't offer me so many boons based on healing when there's almost none. I feel like I'm being mocked. The boons with Bond of Life and blah, blah, blah. Does this game realize there's only two characters with a Bond of Life, right? Yes, they realize that. You do realize that Clorand is the newest character with a Bond of Life, right? So they probably want you to use her. Why do you think they have Electro, Pyro, and um, Animo as the elements? Probably because those are some of the newest characters, right? Sin Yoon, Arlequino, Clorand. Boom. Why do you think those are the elements that they started off with? I feel like some of these people are complaining just for the sake of complaining. I didn't find myself lacking a character that I felt like I needed. Wait, if you've been a player since day zero, right? If you've been playing this game for the last, what, four years? How is it possible that I've only been playing this game for less than a year, a little less than a year? This person has been playing since day zero and they're complaining that they don't have a healer? Like what? Like there's no way, dude. Other boons give you an advantage in exchange for a disadvantage. Less flowers on the next stage. The cost benefit ratio is too high. It's better to not use the boon than to use it. Then don't use the boon, that's fine. It's a strategy game. It's meant to be strategic. It's not meant for you to just, you know, bum rush over it with an OP crazy team. It's not clear at first that the star challenge 
is four. What? The icon is different, so you can tell it's special, but there's barely any any indication what they're for. Do do people not like to read? Number five, if you didn't get the star challenge and accidentally press continue after beating the challenge, that's it. You have to consume a rewind to try again. The game doesn't ask me, are you sure you won't be able to get whatever the star challenge gives? You can reach out of this challenge. How come how come I didn't have that problem? Like I don't understand. Do do we not just slow down? I just don't understand why people try to just bum rush through things without understanding like the rules and the concepts they just want to go 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 i feel like genshin is trying their best to try different things right i mean they're like okay people are 36 starring abyss you know whatever let's give them something new to try and then they give you something new to try and immediately People are like, I don't want to read. I just want to get through it. Like, let's go, blah, blah, blah. Calm down, like relax, enjoy the game. Enjoy, I would not have any enjoyment out of the game if it wasn't challenging. I would get bored, like relax, enjoy it for what it is. Do you know what I mean? If you don't want to play the new theater mode, then just don't play it. That's totally fine. That's up to you. But like relax enjoy what you're playing a bit man number six it's not clear when i was offering non-electro pyro animal characters to my friends it looked clear to me in fact i thought i was choosing the support characters for myself not for my friend horrible ui flow all you had to do was read all you had to do was read that's all you had to do was slow down and read man it says it right on the screen like it legit says it right there and what are we doing man just slow down and read bro like how it's not it's not that difficult it's not that difficult number seven the game offers to reshuffle the cards right what it doesn't mention however is that you can't reshuffle the bosses thought it was possible no it's not whoever said that whoever told who who told i want to know who told them that there goes my shovel attempt down the drain for nothing but who told you that the game didn't tell you that what are, what are, what is going on dude like who told you that who told you that i don't understand number eight no equipment artifact quick swap no equipment profiles like in Honkai impact it'd be much easier if i could save equipment artifact setups for characters and be able to swap them all with a different character i have geo cryo dendro hydro characters with artifacts that'd be very useful for the characters using ig yeah okay i kind of see where you're going with that i wish that is one thing i wish genshin would change is artifact loadouts right i agree like i wish you could take one artifact set that you have on somebody and completely just switch the entire set to somebody else like i i get that like i understand that I think that should be a thing. It should be, you should be able to quick swap, you know, like that instead of having to go in individually and then go through and find them again and all that other stuff. Like, I get that. Like, I get that. I would like to see that as well. Number nine, you are forced to use all four characters per match. I agree. That is one I really do agree with. I don't think you should be forced to use all four characters per match. I completely agree with that. I think you ought to be able to use whatever characters that you want that are available to you. I don't think you should be forced to use all four characters per match because then there's some characters where you're like, well, you're kind of useless in this team. Like I know you're going to be useless in this team, but use that vigor for them. So I get that one. I understand that one. I agree with you on that one. This is the first time in these four years that I've experienced content in Kitchen that feels so unpolished. I disagree. Unclear rules. I disagree. Unintuitive UI. I disagree. Unbalanced RNG. Okay. RNG is part of it because they want it to be roguelike synergies that do not apply they are forcing you to use different teams the only good thing about it is that the rewards are relatively easy to get but it can get excruciatingly painful to get the get if the rng wasn't on your side i've never complained until today perhaps something small here and there but never to this level of lack of polish i don't think it's lack of polish i think it's because people get so they want to try to go through it so fast right they don't take the time to stop and understand what the game is wanting you to do this game mode is really wanting you to use your brain it is all about strategy it is all about using different teams that you're not used to using and making you think and put the pieces of the puzzle together that's what this game mode wants you to do and i love that about the game i think people need to slow down read the rules there's a it is a lot of information i felt overwhelmed when i first jumped in it is a lot of information thrown at you to kind of understand but once you get into it and you slow down and you read everything you can understand what's going on i feel like a lot of genshin players just don't want to read and they're they're like oh it's gonna be spiral abyss again and it's nothing like that completely different challenge i actually really enjoy it i don't think the rules are complex at all it took me like five minutes to understand it just stop slow down read what the rules are and i 
I think you'll be fine. Is Imaginarium Theater bad? No. Does it need tweaking? Yes, there are a couple of things that I agreed with. 90% of this I disagreed with, but the one thing I agree with the most is forcing you to use four characters every single time. I don't think we should be forced to use four characters. I think if you have two characters that can just wipe things out, it saves you from that vigor because then you're wasting vigor on those characters. So on those other characters, I mean, so I think that's the one thing I would change. The rest of it's fun. It's supposed to be RNG. It's supposed to be roguelike. I enjoy it. I think the setting of it is great. People just need to um, take their time. Yeah, this is really making you find teams that you never thought you'd use before. And I think that's awesome.